Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another exciting and special episode of uh, This One's For You, the show where normally I choose a song and then come up with some sort of convoluted logic as to how I can dedicate it to someone significantly more famous than I am. However, this is a special version of it. It is part of an eight-part series where I have taken famous television TV show themes and I have parodied them to make them about critical role because somebody sent me like partial lyrics to a parody of the cheers theme song. Um, and I was so enamored with it. Like, I'm like, Oh, I should totally do my own parody. And then I'm like, well, that's not really fair. Um, everybody in the cast should get one. So in one night I wrote eight parodies because there's something wrong with me. Um, and no one was there to stop me. And to be perfectly honest, there were there were people cheering me on as I delved into madness. So I'm I'm not a hundred percent going to take the blame for this one. Um this song um this song is uh dedicated to uh the illustrious and amazing Sam Regal. Um, Mr. Regal, if you're watching this, um, I hope that you, uh, get a giggle out of this. I think, uh, to be perfectly honest, this is something that I could see you and Liam doing. Um, uh, if, uh, any of my, uh, any of my viewers are not fans of Critical Role or, or, or don't know the relationship between Sam and Liam outside of the game, uh, they had a podcast, uh, for years um, called All Work, No Play. The game kind of started because of the podcast and a birthday and all these other things. Um, but Sam and Liam uh, have this beautiful bromance. They really, really do. Um, and so this song, I uh, I actually wrote it um, because the original song is written this way too. <laughs> um, it's a duet. Um, and so I kind of see this as Sam and Liam singing it to each other. Um, and it, and it, and it touches on that, that, that really beautiful bromance that they have. Uh, and I think it's got a little bit of just their humor in it. And, and so I hope I've done the bromance justice. Um, so to make it clear to you guys who is singing, which part, um, I'm not going to change my voice because it's hard enough to sing this stuff without having to modulate my voice to try and sound like Sam Regal or, or Liam O'Brien, both of which keep changing their voices randomly, um, as part of their job. So no, that's not going to happen. What I'm going to do is if I'm facing this way, then I'm singing as, uh, Sam. So if I'm facing this way, I'm singing as Sam. If on the other hand, I'm facing this way, I'm singing as Liam. And if I'm facing directly at the camera, that's them both singing at the same time. So I hope uh, uh, I hope that makes enough sense to you guys. It made sense in my head. Uh, the song itself is called Without Liam. Um, and uh, it is a parody of the song Without Us, which is the theme song to the 80s uh, sitcom uh, family ties. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> I wrote these in a night guys. I seriously. So <laughs> this is one of the ones I'm more proud of. And again, I shouldn't be, but I really think it's clever. Uh, so Mr. Regal, if you are watching this, I hope you get a giggle out of this. I hope you enjoy it because I had a hell of a lot of fun writing it um so to set the stage if you've never seen an episode of family ties because it was canceled before you were born um <laughs> uh it generally i think my favorite intro to it starts off with a picture where somebody is like painting in uh and it's a it's a family portrait of the family ties uh family the keatons and uh, you hear this uh, really nice kind of guitar riff under it. You go, 
I bet we've played together for a million years. And I bet you have a hard time keeping track of time. Oh, it's like I started living the first night we rolled. Wait a minute. You were married and had a family long before that, to be perfectly honest. What would I do, Liam, without us? Probably still voice act and direct. And I saved my last spell just to save your character, too. What would we do, my friend, without us? Sha la la la. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Mr. Regal, if you are still watching, um, I hope you found that humorous. Um, like I said, uh, it is about the beauty of the bromance between you two. Uh, Mr. O'Brien, if you're watching this as well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I really, uh, I really feel that this is a kind of joke you guys would have played on each other. Um, I may completely misunderstand the dynamics of your friendship, but it just, it made sense to me. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, for the rest of you guys, uh, again, this is, I think this is the sixth one. Um, I'm losing, I'm starting to lose track because again, I'm recording all of these one after another, um, so I can get it done before my therapist tells me what a bad idea this was. Um, but if you guys are enjoying this, um, and you want to see the rest of them, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I think there's, there's two more left, uh, or just follow me on Twitter. I'm at trainer Jody there. I will be tweeting about these incessantly because again, I am far prouder of these than anyone should be. Um, I wrote, I wrote them in one night, guys, give me a break. Um, I'm certain you guys will crucify me in the uh, comment section, uh, for what I've done. Uh, but again, Mr. Regal, if you are still watching this, uh, I hope, uh, I hope you really enjoyed this, uh, or at least it was a nice distraction for a couple of minutes. Um, and if this is something that makes you go, Hmm, well, I'm going to make sure I don't meet him in person. I completely understand. Um, other than that, that is all for me today, and I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye-bye.